Retivis MA1 firmware. Go to this link here on the right. We've got a couple of downloads. One is the firmware update tool. So we're going to click that and that will download. And the other one is the MA1 firmware file. Just here. And of course, the instructions. And I highly recommend you read the instructions because I won't be responsible for you breaking your radio. I'm just doing this for me. I'm not even recommending that you upgrade your firmware. I'm just, I am doing it for myself. And you can see the USB cable is there and the cable's in the box. And we do need to get it into firmware mode. We'll do that in a second. So let's open the firmware file. So put it, you know, put it somewhere where you can find it. Mine's in the download folder. I've also got the instructions here just to make sure we follow the steps correctly. So download folder and we're going to go to MA1 firmware and I'm just going to extract it into a folder that I've created called MA1 firmware. So we just go extract to de desktop and I called the folder MA1 alphabetical order. There it is there and click OK. So the fault we now know where the files are that we need the change. The change log says fixed faulty cross band repeat function when using CT, CSS, DCS, improve the PTT delay problem, fix the volume control problem, fix the problem there is no offset when saved channel from VFO, fix the bug if there is no tone sound if turn on prompt tone. And there you are, fixed volume judgment deviation problem. So it says here, turn off the, number one, press the band button and power on simultaneously. So we'll turn it off. Band button is just here and then turn on. So this one, um, this one, sorry, my thumb's in the way. And obviously it, it, you'll know when it's right because it will show us turn it off again. Quite fiddly on camera to do this. There you are, good. It says main update and there is different firmware for the main and for the LCD. The main is the back end. So now open the upgrade tool. Let's go up here, update board. There's the tool there, firmware tool. Click that and then we can extract that. Or I'm just going to run it in place. Um, actually, I think I'm going to extract it actually. Let's go back one. Extract two and I'll put it in the same folder. No, I'll create a separate folder. So I'm just going to right click in a space here, right click, new folder. I'm going to go m a one tool okay type the m a one tool and now we're going to extract it to that folder so let's just click out here extract to and then we're looking for m a one tool click ok that should be in there now and now we'll go to the m a one tool folder just double click here so now we go to the folder where we added the tool, MA tool here, double click, double click. And there's the tool here, which we're going to double click again, just here. And click more and then run and it opens up this window here. We've held down the band button while turning on. So you turn it off first and we're in main update. So that is the, the rear unit. So now we're going to go to COM port and find that COM30 that we've got. That's good. And then we're going to go to tool update. I haven't touched the board rate at this point. And we're going to open the main board, go open. And then in that folder, remember here, it says main board 2.33, double click. And uh, I didn't set the board rate by default. It's three eight four hundred. I'm just going to double check if I go right click here, device manager. It will show on the comms. Click prolific port, then properties. That it's three eight four hundred. So that is the same. And then we're just going to click update main like so. There it goes. <clears throat> let that complete and once we've done that then we have to put it into sort of lcd or the front end screen end of course whilst doing this you know don't change anything don't touch anything uh, you don't want any problem 
just finishing up now see what the radio does <clears throat> it says right success it actually says success on the screen click OK so we can now restart so we'll turn it off <clears throat> and then we'll restart I've got no red line in the middle there must be a setting because I'm watching some videos here and there's a red line in the middle so there must be a setting for that I'll see if I can find that but anyway now we're going to do the LCD maybe the LCD adds the red line so now instead of pressing the band we turn it off we actually press the control button to the right of the band and turn on quite fiddly and you'll see now it says panel update and then it's the same process back to our updater this time we're going to go open and we're going to choose LCD firmware and then we're going to hit update. There you are, that's going in nicely. It's going fast. So I think very easy, very straightforward process if you ask me. And the fact that we can even do the firmware, I'm not even sure if on, the, um, on my other device, my icon, which I will be comparing to this, uh, 2730 black screen. If you can do that. So yeah, right success, click OK. And then it's come on. Mm, no red line there though. But that's it really, that's your firmware done. But thanks very much. Please hit the like, subscribe again if you haven't already. And just read that manual, read that manual before you do the firmware.